Hello, hello. Let's talk about uh, Bernice Bob's Her Hair, part four. Um, so Bernice, update in this one, after being given the talk by Marjorie about getting her hair bobbed, uh, hasn't had her hair bobbed, but she's gone to a dance and uh, quickly becomes apparent that she has been given coaching by Marjorie. She thinks as much to herself. Uh, and, you know, she sat sat beside two, two young men, uh, one who's the really desirable one and one who's the, you know, basically boring, dull, dull one. So she quick, she turns to the boring, dull one and starts asking his opinion on like, oh, I'm going to get my hair bobbed. What do you think? You always have such a good, have a good, good perspective. It basically flatters him, uh, which immediately perks him up uh, and um, goes through the evening like that. Suddenly, and Warren, who is uh, Marjorie's uh, boyfriend, who, you know, uh, so yes, he, he notices, okay, hey, what's going on with Bernice? Because instead of just being with one guy for a whole dance, because no one wants to cut in on her, she notices there's a steady progression of people cutting, cutting in. And he's sort of like, he's frustrated because Marjorie is just stringing him along, probably using the same mind games she's now uh, inculcating uh, Bernice with, uh, you know, to make him obsessed with her. Uh, he's like, oh, you know, maybe I'll cut in on, I'll cut in on, uh, uh, is it uh, Charles, who's the, the dull, dull, dull dude. Uh, but as he goes over to do it, he bumps into... Uh, the popular guy that Bernice was sitting next to who, and he apologizes, but the popular guy just keeps on going and cuts in and, uh, and dances with, dances with, uh, Bernice. Uh, so she is suddenly, yes, the, the popular girl. And now at that initial scene, she's like, Oh, I'm thinking I'm going to get my Bob, my hair bobbed. I'm going to do it at this place at this time. And, you know, she kind of rises voice because everyone is listening to her. And of course, you're all welcome to come along. I'm selling ringside seats to it. Uh, and uh, that's when the popular guy leans over and says, I'll take a box seat. Uh, and so that's that apparently is on the, that is on the schedule. That was her big kind of announcement to catch the people's attention at the beginning of this. And at the end of the evening, yes, she talks to Marjorie. Um, kind of debriefed Marjorie, who had kind of buzzed off, thus um, leaving Warren, like, fuming. Um, it's like, oh, it went really well. You know, you know, all the stuff you did. I had to recycle some of these the things that you told me to talk about. But it all came down to uh, you, me, and us was basically all the conversation stuff. You don't talk about the weather in Eau Claire. You don't talk about automobiles. You just talk about you, me, and us. Uh, is 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 the thing it's very much you can you can see this is this is the uh this is the um the girl's version of how to kind of kind of kind of captivate men kind of thing uh it's very much kind of a, a reflection of kind of the youth culture of how to how to, how to captivate a man uh with with basically nothing particularly substantial <laughs> so it's it's an interesting kind of capturing of of that of that of that time um yeah, yeah, there's nothing much more to say about it. It's definitely kind of a makeover thing. And of course, we have the thing at the end where it's like Marjorie has made this new creation and the new creation is already going, well, Marjorie just got this stuff out of books. I'm the one who said it. And it was my red dress that she pulled out of one of my drawers and said, this is the one I should wear. She's already starting to think of like, oh, I am hot shit. I don't need Marjorie. It's already it's already coming into her head as she falls asleep. And th thoughts of Warren, 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 Warren. At the very end before she drifts off into unconsciousness which i mean i guess this whole thing is drifting off into unconsciousness into the beauty culture the beauty youth culture the self-centeredness um self-centeredness stuff that uh fitzgerald is good at capturing and and criticizing and let me be lampooning even while he's kind of also making it look pretty awesome all right i will leave it there more videos later